10 tips, 10 tips quickly on how to shed hunt for blacktail bucks. Tip number one, know what kind of blacktail you're looking for. Are they cascade bucks that migrate? Are they homebody bucks in the valley that don't need to go anywhere? Or are they coastal jungle rainforest bucks that most likely you'll never find anyways because they're knee deep in the ferns. Tip two, walk lots of miles. That's basically all there is to it. Cover lots of ground. Yeah, walk lots. Tip three, look in uh, some south facing slopes. South face to southwest, they're gonna get the most most spring uh, spring growth earlier in the year when they need it also the snow melts off faster so they can get up higher to their summer summer areas south face slopes are good tip four look for look for big timber big timber means Less snow hits the ground because it's protected. It also means there's more of the, uh, see that moss up there hanging out of the tree? It's called old man's beard. The big bucks will uh, feed on that in the winter. Big trees means more of that. Means they have to move less, more food, easier to access, more open ground. Yeah, look for big trees. Tip five. Look for things when you're looking for, uh, when you're Google Earthing it. You're being a nerd on Google Earth like me. Look for things like saddles where they can transfer back and forth. Where you have that south face slope, southwest slope, but then if they're getting hammered by a storm, they can cross through a saddle real quick and they're on the other side. So just like when you're, if you, if you guys are bass fishermen, there's a difference in structure and cover. Cover is like the kind of trees that are growing around, the lily pads you're casting to, the logs that are in the water. Structure is like a creek channel, a drop off, a flat. So it's the same with deer hunting. When you're looking for structure, you're looking for saddles, crossing places where two ridges come together, big rock pinnacles. That would be structure that they're gonna use, hide behind, use to their advantage. Look for structure. Number six. Don't just aimlessly walk on a ridge. Always stay on a deer trail. Deer don't aimlessly walk through. So if they're always on a trail, their horns are always gonna fall off a trail. So if you're always on a trail, that ups your odds of being where the deer are. Ain't no sense in just traipsing across the ground, making your own trail when you're only intersecting where the deer are going to be for a second walk on a deer trail all the time see this deer trail you probably can't tell there's a deer trail going right up there there's one going down there if i start getting into a place where i'm like ooh, i zigzag the trails you don't just walk random always walk on a deer trail tip number seven i run out of fingers look for beds there's a bed I have a theory, it may be right, it may be wrong, but you'll find big bull sheds out in the meadows. Elk are a grazer, like a cow, fat and lazy. They like to eat grass. They're also a bigger animal that needs to eat more, so they spend more time out there eating. Big bucks are browsers, so they can eat stuff that's in the timber. They also aren't as big of an animal like an elk, they don't need to feed as often. They don't even need to go to water as often. 
so they spend more of their time in their beds recovering hunkered down during the winter so if you can find a really good bedding area check them out beds are always look below the beds and look in the beds if you're looking uphill look below the trees because the beds will be on the uphill side of the tree if you're glassing down look at the tops of the trees that's where those beds will be always check bedding areas great use your binoculars there's some days not every day but there's some days that a good 75 percent of the blacktail horns i find i find with my binoculars saves your legs a lot of time instead of walking down to be like "Ooh, what's that look with your binoculars then once you find a spot scan everything else around there until you can find that one stick that sticks up that ain't a stick always look for little curves you'll just start to learn what a what a horn looks like look for tips sticking up out of the brush look for that curve rolling over if it looks just right but if it's got knot holes and wood grain in it then it's a stick if it's got big old bumpy eye guards and it's got a big old white pedicle brown it's a deer horn so look for that Use your binoculars. I said use your binoculars. Use your binoculars. Number nine. I think we're at number nine. If you do find one deer horn, most likely there's more around. Not just the match, but if one deer liked that area to winter, most likely there's more deer that like that area also. So keep looking around and find the rest of them. Every time you find a horn, ask yourself, why is it here? Is it here because it fell out of a bed? Is it here because it was on a travel route trail? It just happened to be walking along and it dumped one out? Good luck finding a match on those ones. It's laying in the bed. Ugh. Walk the trails out of that bed to look for the match. If it's laying in a bed, look below there to see if the other one rolled down the hill further. If you're in steep, steep stuff, look at the bottom of that meadow and see if that horn rolled all the way out. Clear to the bottom. Always ask yourself, why is this horn here? And look for more that are similar. Number 10. Don't get discouraged. You will walk. A long, long ways. We're not looking for mule deer sheds in the Arizona Strip. We're not looking for elk horns in the reservation in New Mexico. We're looking for blacktail horns in the gnarly jungles of the Pacific Northwest. pretty much the most elusive hardest to hunt species there is so good luck you're gonna work hard to find some don't get discouraged you're gonna walk and walk and walk and find nothing I have lots of those days but sometimes you find one that's all it takes then you're up and going again still get discouraged just know that you're going to be putting in a lot of boot miles. And most likely you're going to find a lot of nothing. Kind of like gold panning. Probably not going to get rich. But it's fun trying to find the stuff. So yeah, there's your 10 tips. I'll go find some horns. There's way more tips in the world out there than just what I, had, uh, what I got to say. Um, like I said, I'm no expert. Just things that work for me. If you got a tip you want to tell me about or share with anybody else, leave a comment. As always, like, subscribe. Stay tuned for some more videos. <sighs> a little late on that guy. He might stay out here for the squirrels.